Hi, my name's Nigel. Uh, I teach media and film studies at uh, Hastings Plaza uh, on the A-level courses. Everybody I know are scared of sharks, but nobody I know has ever seen a shark, but they have seen Jaws. And we live in a world that is increasingly mediated by corporations, by software, WhatsApp, stuff like that. And Media Studies really gives you a good insight, A, in how to interpret this uh, stuff we get on media. And bear in mind, in our COVID world of isolation, often the media is the only thing we have to connect to each other. Um, but you also learn about the industry. And it's uh, whereas Media Studies a few years ago might have been seen as a subject which is like a, uh, you know, I'll do science, I'll do English, then I'll have a period off and enjoy media. Actually the media industry is now one of the fastest growing sectors of the British economy and with the advent of Netflix and streaming services challenging the BBC we're actually, uh, well, you can talk seriously now about careers in the media uh, as well as hundreds of degrees that the universities are, are now offering. I also teach film studies and film studies is, is again similar to media in the sense that there's more films being made now in Britain than there have been for the past 20 years, again via Netflix and people like that. There are hundreds of careers and what film studies gives you, unlike media which talks about the industry in general terms, film studies really is about studying and interpreting some of the greatest films ever made. It's, um, it's, it's a joyful subject for me to teach because I was brought up in the cinema. My time was before the screen, well the little screen, I was brought up in the time of the big screen. But the, the thing I love about uh, film, it's so relevant. Uh, whenever I, I've been teaching for 15, 20 years now and I always ask my media students and film students at the beginning of term, what um, what mediums do you prefer, do you use? And they always say social networking. They ignore television, they ignore newspapers, they definitely don't listen to uh, Radio 4. And, uh, but the one other thing they all do, as much as social networking, are films. And that's because I think films are such a great and beautiful way to tell a story. And whereas you could say, yes, the 19th century belongs to the novel, the 20th century belongs to the film and the great thing about digital, the digital world we live in, it hasn't wiped out films, it's given us a chance, it's democratised filmmaking. Everyone can make a little film now, you don't have to be uh, working for Warner Brothers. And, and we investigate all these areas and we do, we do, you, you do film studies, you'll come out of film studies with a brilliant uh, notion of a range of all the different types of film in the world, international films, documentaries, uh, Hollywood, the works of probably the most important single person in the cinema world, Alfred Hitchcock. You'll also have, a, have an understanding of how audiences understand films, how they're the basic elements of films. It does what it says on the packet, A-level, general introduction to films. What do you need to do film studies? You've really got to love films. You've got to be able to sit and watch a film. And watch a film, the students who do best are happy to watch films outside of their comfort zones, which means you have to get used to watching an old silent Buster Keaton film about a train that's gone crazy across the American West. It's surprising the amount of students I have, especially from the last two years, who go on to do media studies at university. Uh, local universities, Sussex, uh, up in London as well. So I think that's the key thing. It's, it, it, it's, it's hard to tell really because of course where they end up after the university but it, they all get into, uh, last year they all got into, ones who wanted to do media studies, got into courses they chose. And this was before all the fiasco with the grading side. So they all did, uh, that's, that's probably the main area. We've only just started doing film studies, so we have yet to see, but I suspect it will be the same uh, story. The college itself, and I, when I, before I worked here, I found it easily to, uh, when I was coming for my interview, and that tells you about the location. It couldn't be more central. It's literally 10 yards from the main Hastings station. Uh, it's, 
uh, there's a, you go down, a, come out of the college, you go down the hill, you're in the middle of the town centre. So there's lots of food, shops, and there's HMV for buy films as well there, which is quite good. Um, it's the buses from all over the area, East Sussex, are pulling in opposite the station. If you're coming from Battle, it's just we've got lots of students come from Battle, they just get on the train. We have students coming from Eastbourne who either come on the bus or the train. It's and, and we also have a lot of students coming from Rye as well and they I'm not sure how they get over but they get a bus or get the train as well it's it's about as central and as you can get and you can also if you want to see a film in a big cinema you can hop on the train and get to London in an hour and a half it's a, a really well served campus and and it's it's uh, as I say you you step out of the college and you you're on your form of transport okay right finally thank you for watching and taking your time uh, to, to see this uh, if you've got any questions do contact me either COVID aside directly I'm always love meeting people both the students and parents as well I think it's really nice to meet the parents uh, or you can do it online uh, via our wonderful marketing department and uh, hopefully hopefully we'll be back to uh, physical open nights as soon as possible thank you